Let's tackle an Excel problem that made me pull my hair until I became bald. I have a pivot table here and a few slicers. What if I want to have my custom order in the slicers? So for those of you who work in finance, what if April is the beginning of my fiscal year or even June? For the day, Sunday is the first day, but what if it's Monday? And for the categories, I have them in alphabetical order, but what if I want a custom order? So we're gonna see two methodologies to fix this. You tell me in the comment section which one you prefer the most. I like methodology too, so stay tuned till the end. Let's start with our data set and methodology one, we gonna change the settings. So let's just click inside our data set, insert pivot table. We want it in a new worksheet and we're gonna add the categories in the row and total sales USD in the values. I'm not gonna do the cosmetics because you can download the completed workbook. What I want to do though is right click on months, add a slicer, right click on day, add a slicer. We're just gonna put them here and you notice we start with January and Sunday. To fix this, I have to go to file and search for options. Now, if you are unlucky like me, you cannot see options, you're gonna go mad. Unless you click on more and you click on options, it's very hidden. Go to advanced and then go down. You have so many things and it's very hidden. Edit custom lists. Click here. And if you see, I have my famous Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I have January, February and so on. And those are default lists that the computer has whenever you have your Excel. Now, if I want to create a custom one, I can import it. So click here on this arrow and go to lookups. Anywhere you have this, it doesn't matter. I already wrote the order that I like. So here I have from April to March. We're just going to click back and click on import. This is a new one. Now the beauty of it is that once you have a new one that you create, it will kick out the one that is there by default. Let's do the same for the weekday. So click here. This is Monday to Sunday, and then we're gonna import it again. Press OK, press OK, and there we go. Now you're gonna tell me nothing happened, but this is a trick. Just right click on your pivot table, press refresh, and the magic happens. You have your new settings applied automatically. You see how easy it is? What is even easier is to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, that would make me very happy. Now the problem with this approach is that if you have a new Excel sheet, it will start with April automatically because now you have settings like this. If you want to remove the settings, you can just go back where I was and delete it. It will retake the default list starting with January. Now the other approach is a bit more complicated, but it's worth it because it will be only applied for your current Excel sheet. Let's go and do it. To do it, I need to transform my data into an Excel table. Now, this is IT geek language. If you don't know what is an Excel table, think about it as a database. Obviously, it's not as complicated as what this guy is doing. So I'm just gonna click inside, insert, and you have table here or control T. This is my table, this is the data. I have headers, press OK, and call it data, press enter. We're going to do the same thing for some lookups. So here I have three lookups. So what do I have here? I have the months and I set the order. So for example, June will be my first month. July is the second one and so on. And I'm doing the same for the categories and the days. So press Ctrl T after clicking within this table and press OK. Same procedure. Let's call it a lookup months. Press enter. I'm just going to do the same for the next two. So this is lookup day, press enter, control T, lookup underscore category. There we go. The next step is to add this into a data model. Sounds very crazy. You're going to see very simple. How do I add this? I just click on my first table, power pivot, add to data model. We do the same for all the other tables. And finally, we do the same for the data table. There we go. 
everything is there. Now don't worry about all this, just go to diagram view to see what we have. Those are my four tables. The only problem I have is that there is no relationships between them. So it's a big family, a happy family, and now each one of them is living alone. So to create a relationship, I can go to my first table, look up months, right click, create relationship, brother, sisters. This is my months. I go to my data table. Where is my months? It's here. Press OK. First relationship created. Let's do the same thing with day. So create relationship. In this case, I want weekday. Let's go to data. This is called day here. So you don't have to have the same name. Then you press OK. Done. And we do the same for the last one. This is my category. Data. My category is here. Press OK. Everything is perfect. Let's go back to the data view. And here it's like an Excel sheet. You can see all my tables. I want my data table and I want to bring the sorting order here. So let's start with the months and we're going to do the same for the other ones. So we want to add a column and this column, let's call it order underscore months. Press enter. We need now to bring the data. So we need a formula. Since it's a family, they are related, right? So we write related open parentheses those are the columns that i have in my other tables you can see lookup category lookup day and lookup months in this case i want the months but i want the order so the one two three etc double click here close parentheses press enter notice here how january now is month eight so since i have this i can sort this column click on it sort by column and here you have months perfect what is the column I want to sort by? Order months. Press OK. Perfect. Now it seems that nothing happened, but you're going to see the end result. Let's do the same for the weekday and the category. So here it will be order underscore weekday. I'm going to do it similar. Let's just add the formula related. Happy family. This is what I want. Look up day. Close parenthesis. Press enter. There we go. We want to sort the days by this order weekday. So this is the column. Sort by column. And here we want order weekday. Press OK. Perfect. Let's do the same for category. Order underscore category. Press Enter. Go here. Related. Open parentheses. We want lookup category. And we want the order close parenthesis press enter let's go get the categories and sort them by this order category press ok there we go we are done with the data model you see it was not that hard we can add now a pivot table so insert pivot table but don't get it normally get it now from your data model because we did all this work for something we click here let's have it in a new worksheet and we go to the data table we can add the category and total sales so it seems that it's the same as the other one but now we need our slicers so the slicers are right click add a slicer same for the day and we can do the same for example for the category so we're gonna do add a slicer for all of them let's put them here and now notice the magic wow june is the first month tuesday is the first day and this is my category starting with cookies the same way we have them here the beauty of this is that if i want to change for example i want to have bars as number one this is two this is three and this is four i just change it here go back and i can come right click refresh everything and there you go, it's automatic. 